Okay. All right, so our first one for soft tissue, go ahead and stand up, you're gonna stand up so we can do this, turn around so they can see back. All right, supraspinatus muscle, okay? So this is why that bony landmark is so important because if we're finding the spine of the scapula, okay, our supraspinatus sits just above the spine, so right in here, okay? Now again, it's location, it's not gonna be palpation on this, all right? Because obviously you have a big muscle that sits on top of your rotator cuffs, okay? You can't really, you can't really palpate the supraspinatus. So that makes sense to everybody? So it's really location. It runs from basically back here on top of the spine of the scapula and then comes through and attaches onto that greater tuberosity of the bicep, of the, of the humeral head, all right? So if you're just in location, then you're where you're supposed to be. So just above the spine, okay? So make sure you find the spine, you palpate above, you are now on the supraspinatus muscle, okay? So that's kind of how we look at that one, okay? Um, infraspinatus, okay, if we have the supra above, infra below the spine. So that's pretty easy to remember right there. So if it's infraspinatus, you just find the spine, you palpate below, you're on the infraspinatus muscle right there, okay? Now, all right. Terry's minor, all right, we're gonna palpate the lateral border of the scapula. Okay, so again, if we're gonna go here, put your arm back there behind your hand, all right, or behind your back. All right, if I'm on the lateral border right here, all right, this is where my teres minor is gonna exist, so I'm gonna be right in here for my teres minor, okay? So again, you're not feeling those, because again, you got trap and lat that's really sitting over top and wrapping this in, but this is the generalized location of it. So if you had a pitcher that was complaining of pain back here, and you can rule out the trap and the lat, you're going, okay, well, it's probably Terry's minor, then is what I'm dealing with. And that's it runs situation. along the lateral border, you say? Yeah, lateral border. Okay. Um, trap, okay. We want to palpate from the occiput down to the acromion to the mid back. So, sorry, I'm going to block everybody real quick. So, occiput down to the spine, all right, and then then mid back. Okay, so that's our trap. So, anywhere in here is trap, all right. So, from here over to the spines. Okay, right there where the acromions meet, and then down to about mid-back is where our trap is going to be. So if you're anywhere in this vicinity, right, you're good, all right? So that's how you look at it. So it's just a big trace. looks like a triangle right there, okay? Rhomboids between spine and scapula. Have patient put their hand behind back and push against yours to get them to be more palpable. So if I'm going to do this, I'm going to say, all right, push against my hand. I'm resisting them. Rhomboids are right in here, okay? So this is where we'll palpate them. So medial, medial border of the scapula is where we're looking at right there, okay? No. All right. Again, that's why, that's the good rhomboid stretch that I like to put them back there. Get my baseball players and I like to pull, really stretch those out. If you got guys that are sore back here, this is a good stretch for you to do. I had, I had volleyball players, you'd pick them up off the table and you just let them hang there and swing. They loved it. It was great. <laughs> okay? I know everybody's going to love this one. Okay? Go ahead, turn around. Face that way. Okay. Um, the, the auxilla or, or the armpit. Okay. So we, we, we actually have to palpate the armpit a little bit. Okay. All right. So just have them put their hand on their head like this, like on a little teapot right there. Okay. Like that. Okay. All right. And so, well, actually, on the little teapot's on the head. Excuse me. I should be wrong. I guess, I guess put your hands on your head and spread them would be, I guess, a better point right here because you're about to be arrested. Okay. All right. So we've got our pec major, which comes in here and forms the border. All right, of the auxilla right here. All right, so that's going to be the pec major right here on uh, that one. Okay, um, the lat is going to be the posterior part of the auxilla, so back here, all right, on the armpit. Okay, is what we're looking at right here Can on that one. Okay. Right here. Okay. okay. So if we think about the, if we think about here, go, John. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a terrible drawer of this, but it's like a an inverted pyramid almost so is what we're kind of looking at right here so and the borders are your wall so back here is your lat this is your pec up here pec and lat and they're just forming the walls of this pyramid if you think about this being the the most inner part of the armpit okay this is that anterior wall of the armpit this is the posterior wall of the armpit right there okay on that one just want to make sure i don't skip them um Brachial artery is deep within the armpit. I'm not gonna make you sit there and try and feel for an, a, a pulse in their armpit. That's not very fair of me to do it. All right, so, but if you know where the auxilla is, there's an artery in there. Usually when we talk about brachial artery, we talk about infants and it's up here on the arm. You know what I'm talking about? When we do CPR, that's where you do it for that, for an infant right here. So it runs down into the armpit and it's a little bit easier to find on adults in here than it is on the bicep. So that's kind of why we look in there. Okay, 
And then you have lymph nodes within there too. And again, I'm not going to make you try to feel for lymph nodes in the armpit, but if someone were sick and they're complaining of swollen bumps in their arm, you would, you'd ultimately think lymph node situation right there. Okay? All right, you can put your hand down. Okay? Anterior aspect, my favorite muscle in the entire body um, is the, the first one, your sternocleidomastoid muscle. Okay? Because I just like saying it. It's a great name for it. Okay? Look up at the Look up. All right, right here. So it attaches right here, all right, and then it runs back up and attaches right kind of at the base of the ears, okay? So that's a really good, that's my favorite muscle right there, sternocleidomastoid muscle right here, okay? All right, so that's a good one, I like that. It's the only, it's one of the only ones where it originates below where it inserts, too. That's a little trick if you want to know. So it originates down here on the sternum, and then it, it inserts up here, which is different than most other muscles. Most other muscles, they go the other way, okay? <clears throat> All right, your pec major, large chest muscle. Okay, so pec major, obviously we know where the pec pectoralis major is right here. Okay, not so much concerned with feeling in here as I am up here, okay, because this is where our shoulder is. Okay, so again, guys, be very careful. If you ever have a female athlete that they go, you know, I gotta check your, your pec out, you, you're at the right spot, which is up here. Don't, don't sit there and start going down here. <laughs> that gets you lawsuits very easily. Okay, so don't do that. Okay. All right, um, biceps, we should know biceps. You want to feel both the belly, okay, which is right in the middle of it, and then you want to be able to come back up to that bicepital groove and get that tendon, that biceps tendon right there, okay? Um, and then your deltoid muscles. Just remember deltoids, anterior delt, front, middle delt, middle, posterior delt, back, okay? So we really just think about the deltoids sitting like this, but it's really one, two, and three. So they kind of encapsulate right there. So anterior, middle, posterior. Okay, on those. You should have all those down. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and do those muscles really quick, and then we'll uh, 